All right, guys, Homer from Basement Figs, Elgin, Illinois, Zone 5B, uh, Saturday, September 10th. Um, looks like the forecast says it's going to rain uh, 2 a.m. till Tuesday. So we have no other choice, guys. We're going to have to harvest the Teramu and the Fago Preto today. So I'm excited to taste these figs and share the experience with you guys. So thanks for tagging along, and let's do this. All right, guys, um, the first fig we're going to try is we're going to do the... Teramu. Um, this thing is phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal plant. Um, I've harvested about uh, six to seven of these already. Um, Mount Etna type fig. As you guys can see, this tree is loaded with figs. I'm pretty sure we're going to have the opportunity to harvest all the way up to here. Um, it's just an amazing tree. Once it gets to about this size, it ripens. The hang, hang time is about two to three days. Since Once it starts to droop like that, it's about two to three more days. Um, this one is super soft to the touch. So let's harvest this, guys. Just going to pull on the neck here. And there we go. The Teramu. All right, guys, we got the Teramu. Let me give you a closer look. So it's soft all the way around up to the neck semi closed eye it's kind of like a, a greenish um, brown with slight purple lines running down it Looks good, real good guys. Let me give you a close up. All right guys, reminder of my um, scoring system here. Uh, Chicago Hardy baseline 2.5. Um, Italian 258 was my best fig at 4.5. Uh, our last video we rated the Vasilika Sika a 4.2. So we're gonna give the Teramu um, a little score here guys. So. I appreciate you tagging along and enjoying this experience with me. So let's do this. Oh, that is the best terror move I've had so far. So what's really hard about picking these figs guys, especially for someone new like me, there's so many different ripe stages. Some figs like to be super ripe some are a little bit better firm um, I'm still learning but this is the best teramu I picked guys a little sea crunch imagine honey sprinkled with brown sugar stirred added water and that's what a teramu tastes like guys with with some crushed maybe some crushed berry maybe like a raspberry not a lot of skin but a, you, you taste you can taste the the texture of the the seeds you get that seed crunch more so than a skin texture good fig all right gonna try the second one here and let me let me see if I can get you a close-up here guys you can actually see the seed crunch the seeds see those little 
kind of more orangey yellow dots. Those are the seeds that I'm tasting. Okay. Let's do this. Second half, Termu. Let's give this a try, guys. Oh, man. Wow. The intensity of sweetness, I think they call that the bricks. This one is way sweeter than the Vasilika Sika. It's just a great fig. I love, man, I love this Teramu. I did, so when I started my cuttings, uh, my this hobby, I met this guy, Seth, from uh, Ohio Figs. And I'm like, Seth, Seth, what can grow in our zone? Because he's, he's in zone six. I'm like, Seth, what can grow in our zone? And he goes, he's like, what are you interested in? And I was like, bro, I really don't know anything about this hobby yet. He's like, you know what? Let me send you uh, a starter bundle, right? He sent me about 10 to 15 cuttings. Um, I've never even heard of the Teramu, and the Teramu was in this bag of cuttings that he sent. So, ends up being a keeper. I'm, I'm keeping this fig. You know, the, the thing with the Teramu is, it's like the it's like a Celeste where it just keeps cranking out, cranking out figs. And it's, and it's a little bit bigger than a, a improved Celeste fig. And it might be a little bit sweeter. I like, I have two improved Celeste. I don't know if I should have two Teramus instead. It's that good. The question here, I got it in a five gallon pot. I'm definitely gonna put it in a 15 gallon pot. The question I have is, will it make the in-ground cut in zone 5B? That's that's what I'm still trying to find out, guys. I, I, I got some holes planted out here for my in-ground figs, and I only still got one, the Chicago Hardy, which I had before I even knew anything about a fig. But that's my goal. I got seven to eight spots in my in my in-ground area. I don't know what's gonna make the cut. Teramu definitely, 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 definitely gonna be in a 15 gallon keeper pot, guys. It's that good. So let's finish up this fig. I'm kind of sad. Man. Yeah. Not a lot of, barely any berry flavor, but just honey, sprinkled brown sugar, some water in there. Stir that thing up, roll it in a ball and put it in your mouth and that's a terrible guy. So. Um, again, scoring system, Chicago Hardy, uh, 2.5, Vesalika Sika, uh, a 4.2, man, Teramu. So the question I'm asking myself, is it, does it make the 4.0 cut? Is it top tier? So it's not, it's not top tier. It doesn't have enough complexity in it, uh, even though it's a great fig. So it's definitely in the three range. Teramu, 3.8 guys. Basement fig score of a 3.8. That was a delicious fig. All right, so we got the Teramu out of the way. The next figure that we're going to taste, guys, is the Figo Preto drum roll. I've been staring at this figs since February. It's taken that long for it to ripen in in, in my Zone Five B here, guys. So I'm stoked. Uh, we'll get a couple close-ups of the plant, and then we'll get to it. And conveniently enough, the Figo Preto guys is right behind my table here. So let's take a closer look at the plant. It's soft. It could definitely, you hear it all the time in other people's videos, it definitely could hang here for two to three, two more days. 
but with the rain and the open eye so with the rain and the open eye I don't want to lose this chance to uh, taste this fig guys so we're gonna go harvest it as you can see with the plant this thing is loaded even the other branch even the other branch guys same thing loaded it's been loaded like this since February it just took a very very long time to even turn a color plump up and get ready so I'm super excited we're gonna go ahead and harvest this and I'll see you guys at the tasting table all right guys here we have the figo preto um, when I first started the hobby as well I was considering of course getting the black Madeira and then from what I researched was um, the figo preto uh, there's some debate whether it's the same as the black Madeira I'm not sure new to the hobby but what I did read was um, the figo preto it did better in uh, humid climates um, it was a little bit more crack uh, split resistant, crack resistant. Uh, but this one's starting to split, as you can see. But it is definitely a gorgeous fig. That is one sexy fig. I mean, like, it's it's beautiful. So let me give you guys a close up. Definitely could have stayed longer, right, guys? It's not the softest. Here you can see the the eyes starting to split and crack on me. The neck is a little bit soft. Let me. I don't know if I can capture capture that. It has some play, like these speckles on it. it makes the plant look so regal doesn't it guys let's cut this fig open guys I'm excited I'm nervous I'm, just, I'm like excitedly nervous for this experience I like I said I wish I could have kept it on longer but it's it's gonna rain I just don't want to lose this opportunity. Wow. Guys, look at this. I can't even tilt it too much for the for the angle cuz I don't want that syrup to pull out. But that's a that's a a beautiful early fig, guys. I'm I'm like <laughs> I, I'm I'm like speechless. I don't even know. I can't believe I got to this point in the hobby, guys. First year, zone five B opportunity to try. A first year cutting of a Fego Preto. So uh, bear with me. I'm just really stoked. It smells like a fig. But um, we're going to give this a try. Wow. Um, tastes like my Italian 258 in the sense that it has that same texture, syrupy, like very syrupy, berry flavor.
you can tell where the fig isn't ripe yet, right? Up in this top area. Yeah, so <coughs> Italian 258 with a thicker skin. Everything about the, I, the Italian 258, the berry um, flavor, um, the pulp, the sea crunch, everything's similar. Um, but the skin, the skin has a, a bite to it. This one has a more of a, a chew to it, I mean. Yeah. Doesn't melt in your mouth as much as the Italian 258. And again, it could be because it's maybe two to three days early. But a good thing. I don't want this experience to end, so um, I'm gonna actually cut it just to enjoy this 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 present from Mother from Mother Nature for a little bit longer. See this syrup. Oh yeah. You people out in nicer weather, having your bowl filled of figs like this, man, I couldn't even imagine just sitting down here with a bowl full of those things. Amazing. And this is why we're in the hobby, right guys? But if you're not in the hobby, this is why you should get in the hobby. You don't have to go crazy like these other people with a hundred trees. I mean, I have in my first year here about 35. Um, some are giveaways of growing out for people. So in reality, maybe I have 25. But you don't need a lot of a lot of room. You don't need something fancy like this. Um, do one of these rows. Have five plants. Store five plants in your garage or in your basement. It's worth it. Just find the right ones for your zone. And that's my mission here. In, Zone 5B guys. Okay, Fago Preto. Yeah. Berry, super sweet, syrupy. The main difference that I'm experiencing in my limited experience here is this one just has a skin chew and bite to it. Okay. This one's going to be hard to score. And my score is literally based off of this ripeness, picking it early. Um, Chicago Hardy, 2.5. The Teramu, 3.8. Basilica, 4.2. And uh, Italian, 258 was a 4.5. So right away, definitely on that four scale. That fig just had a complexity and sweetness to it. Now, my thought process here is it, is it, where does it lay between the 4.2 Vasilika and the 4.5 um, 
4.5 Italian 258. Man. All right. It was definitely better than the, the Vasilika Sika. It has way more complexity to that flavor where the Vasilika Sika almost just tastes like strawberry or berry flavored. This one, um, the, the Figo Preto has a complexity of a, of a nice red wine. So did it beat out my, my best Italian 258 yet? I don't think so guys. We're gonna go with a Fego Preto 4.4 on Basement Figs scoring system guys. What an experience. Thanks for joining me. Um, wow, I can't believe September 10th I tried a Fego Preto in the zone 5B. I'm ecstatic. Uh, thanks for following along um, and uh, continue to support me guys as I go down this journey of finding the best seven figs to put in my ground in zone 5B. Thanks guys. Peace. Love you.